you are welcome to my youtube channel my name is constance if you're joining us for the first time you are highly highly welcome to my returning subscribers oh, oh god bless you you see today we're going to take another dimension so today we're going to be talking about a story a story that story is so important you know i i don't know how to tell stories but i am going to try my best to make sure that you get that story mm. you know it's a story about two kings you know let's talk about the first king the first king was a very good king he loved his people you know this king every day the king will always go you know to you know celebrate with his people he built a very beautiful you know very beautiful houses for them there was where there was staying there was no lack there were no limitation they had everything and those things were being paid for you know so he provided them with everything you can ever imagine oh my god you see there was peace the king loved peace. The king loved people to be joyful. The king, he loved people to have everything, you know, supply he, so much food, you know, arm for them to be protected, you know, security everywhere, you know. Everything was in his kingdom. It's so, the king provided his children with, you know, long life, just like that. There was no sickness. You hardly hear about war. In short, there was no war in his kingdom. Everybody loved each other. There was this kind of, you know, kind of joy that was radiating in the heart of his children. They was always, always happy. If you see them, they were always happy. And this king enjoyed being with them. There was nothing like evil in their hearts. The children were so blessed. They were so happy. You know, one day, this king just left this his beautiful people for a very short time, only to come back and there was this wicked king, very wicked, that came to snatch these people. He, and do you know what? He did not only snatch one person, he snatched all of them, everybody. And when he snatched them, the king was not there. So he didn't even know where they went to. Out of a sudden, he appeared and he started calling, Where are you guys? And they were nowhere to be found. Where are you guys? There's no way to be found. These people were somewhere in the hands of another king, in the hands of his enemy. Ah! He could not talk to them. That fellowship, that relationship, everything was lost just within a twinkle of an eye. The king could not call them anymore. He shouted. He started calling them one after the other. Nobody could hear him. Now, these children, this is people in the hands of the other king. What were they doing with this wicked king? Hmm. This wicked king, after carrying them, he now told them, okay, you see, I don't want to hear anything you know, call peace in this kingdom. I don't want to hear anything call love in this kingdom. You see, my kingdom is, you know, men for hatred. It's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. There is no way that you will stop this. He told them that, you see, you are going to do things the way I do. It was a command, you know, you are going to act the way I act. So there was nothing for, left for them than to obey him because they were under slavery. They were under captivity. So on that note, he told them, 
You see, hate everyone. You know, no one is your friend. Hate everyone. Even if you want to love somebody, love with a cunning nature. Hypocrisy is permitted in my kingdom. You see that true love in your, where you are coming from is not existing in my kingdom. And if anybody commit, maybe commit anything, you know, or maybe wrong you, don't forgive the person. Don't forgive that person. He said, you have the right to stay without talking to your brother or to your sister for as long as you want. No problem. And then I want to tell you, if you need to get houses or you want to buy a car, go ahead and get it. It doesn't matter how you're getting it. You know, the most important thing is you have a house and you have a car. So forget about it. If it means you killing your mother or your father to get that car, go ahead and do it. If it means you sacrificing, you know, the whole of your family or the whole of your relatives to get this thing done, do it. It is right in my kingdom. He said, you see, in your kingdom, you know, they were telling you, you know, not to, you know, not to gossip. In my kingdom, gossip is free. So gossip as you can. That, if that's what gives you joy, why will you stay without talking about it? Go ahead and do it. Hey, one of his child said, I want to go and write exam. Ah, ah, he said, exam. As you go for that exam, I don't want to hear anything that you fail that exam, you know. Go to that exam. If you didn't prepare for exam, you know, put some papers over your body. You can use your phone to browse anything. You know, the most important thing is let this exam be successful. It doesn't matter. What matter is you pass the exam. You see, the A's, you need to bring them to this house. I don't care how you are getting it. If you wish to sort, sort. If you wish to copy and do any sort of thing, do it. But all I want you to do is that come to this house with good results. Hmm. And another person was telling Abe that, you see, um, I will campaign to be the governor. Ah, he said, yes, you see, this my team is the team that is winning. You do not need to, you know, you do not need to take a no for an answer. However you are going to do it, even it means you sacrificing the whole of your family to make sure that you rise to that position of government should do it. You know, if you care, you know, do whatever you want to do. But all I want you to know is that I want you guys to be at the top at all times. He never cares about, you know, to, to give them the right counseling because they were not his children. They were not his people. So he gave them all sorts of wrong, wrong things to do. He said, you see, you can actually kill yourself. You know, to make sure that peace reigns. So if there is anybody that is standing on your way to success, you can kill that person and then get to where you want to, to go to or to get to. So there is nothing, you know, there is no crime in doing that. If you are doing it just to get to the top, do it. And, uh, you know, I will be with you. I support you to do those things. And these people, they were all polluted, you know. In killing, they will kill. In hating, they will hate each other. They were fighting themselves, you know. They never ever realized that they were coming from the same kingdom. They hated each other. They would backbite against each other. They would kill each other. They will even go to the extent of sacrificing each other just to make sure that they please their new master. They did all sorts of things for him. You know, at a point they fight, they will fight. You know, killing each other, hold the gun, and they will be killing each other just to make sure that they please their new master. Everything was going, you know, I don't know. You could say, 
they, he was a chaos kingdom that they were being kidnapped to. But you know, this their their former king that you know that used to give them all sort of things, good things, you know, were just there. So one day the king was like, What should I do to rescue these people? What will I do to you know to really go and bring them back to myself? bring them back so that they can enjoy these things most of these things i have was meant for them all the things i have i made it for them so why is it that my people will be suffering under somebody that does not really love them that does not really consider them on that note he called everyone you know that was you know, he, he, he caught everyone and there was no one that was left, you know. Out of a sudden, the king decided that he's coming to fight to get back these people. When he came, oh my God. Mm. From the day he arrived, the other king started looking for him. He said, eh? Did you say you did you say you saw him somewhere? Where? Around which area? And they told him in so and so area. And the king said, he sent the same people that he came to rescue them. He said, go and kill them. Go if you see him. Make sure in short. Don't even kill them. In short, kill everybody in that area called a male. Because wait, since you don't, he, he cannot even like, I don't know how he came. Maybe he came in the form of a woman or man or something, but I know he came in the form of a man. So on that note, kill every male child in that area. Kill them. Kill every male. If anyone you see, just kill. <laughs> Do you know that these same people that he came to save, to, to, to deliver them from the hands of this wicked king, went ahead to kill their king. They were fighting, they were killing people just to make sure that they kill him. Hey. Oh my God. Is this story so important to you? Follow us up as we finish the story. They tried all they could to kill the king. And the king, you know, he will escape after some time. He will still come back and struggle to rescue them. After some time, he will escape to another country, come back, and then continue the journey to the point when he was ready to go for them. On that note, before he could go to them, he needed some people that, he, that could accompany him, you know. Some people that can actually support him so that he can fight this fight with faith. So he decided to start talking to, you know, those people, you know, he would talk to some and then maybe they will not believe him. They will not say, ah, ah, how can you say you are this? How can you say you are our king? No, you are not, and I'm not going to follow you. Some of them actually followed him. So he started teaching them back those things that they abandoned in their kingdom, those things that they used to enjoy before, that good life that they used to enjoy, that fellowship that they usually had when they were in the same kingdom. He reminded them about the good things that you know he had for them. He told them that you see all this war that you're fighting each other is not good. You see this kind of life that you are living, it is not good. You know, some of them actually accepted. He talked about love. He said, love is what you have lost. So please love one another. And this will be a sign that you are in my kingdom. You know, some of them will say, what, is, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? When we need to capture this land and get everything there so that we can get rich. Why are you saying this? 
And the worst thing is, some of those things that these people like doing is what their king came to tell them to leave. Ah, you see the fornication? The king said no. You see that you, you need to abandon that. And they'll be like, oh my God. It's like, this is the worst person we have ever seen. We need to kill you first. We will kill you. And so, you see, with that nature, you know, he actually like live among them, you know, they tried killing him several times. Anytime he tells them the truth, they will not want to accept. They will say, hey, let's kill him. Let's kill him. At times they will carry stone. Okay, let's stone him. Let's stone him. And, you know, he will just walk in their midst and go away. So some of these people that were following him, some of them actually believed in him. They, they really knew that, oh, from his nature, from the way he was behaving, they saw another person and they realized, no, I think this is the kingdom where we are coming from. This is where we were before. So some of them started following him. They, you know, they, they were going around with him, you know, doing all everything with him. So one day, oh, one day, only for this king to send his people to go and arrest him. And they say you, in short, <laughs> did you say you are the king to these people that I'm controlling? These my people. They are my people. And you're telling me that they are yours. And he said, yes, I am. It's in short, he said, you even said that I am. So I am. And they said, ah, what are you saying? Honestly, you're going to die for making this statement. Do you know that these people, they had their own, you know, their own person, you know, the king, the king of the other kingdom. He has his own people, you know, the, those same people that belong to this new, this king, this good king. You know, some of them were in prison. Do you know that these people decided to free an armed robber <laughs> just to make sure that this good king takes the place of that armed robber? Ah! And do you know that? Everybody supported that. That's the truth. Everybody supported it. All of them, the same people he came to remove them to come and enjoy those good things. They supported it. They said, hey, catch it. Catch it. At a point, the king was like, no, we're going to kill him. And they said, yes, kill him. Kill him. But the king, even him himself, he was like, why is it that I cannot identify any error with this person? Why is it that there is nothing I can pinpoint that this king did? They, you don't need to think about it. Just go ahead and crucify him. Go ahead and kill him. We don't want to see him. And this same king, you know, was taken to where he needed to be killed. Even with those things, you know, he did not carry any you know, hatred for them. He still loved them, even when they were going to kill him. Before he died, one would be expecting him to render causes upon their lives. One would be expecting him to must have told them that, you see, I'm dying on your behalf. But yet, he did not say anything. Yet, he did not say anything. Rather, he forgave them. Rather, he gave them access into his kingdom. And he said, as many that will call upon him and come to him, we believe in their hearts that he died for them, and we confess with their mouth that he is Lord. I have given them the access to come back home, to come back to enjoy those beautiful things. Even after death, 
he was still running after them. He went to collect the keys from the king in the other kingdom. He came back. One would be expecting him to go back with the keys, but he did not. He handed those keys back to these people, back to the same people that crucified him, back to the same children that rejected him. He handed those keys back to them. Today, I want you to know that that person is Jesus. I want you to know that that king we are talking about is the king of glory. Is our Lord Jesus Christ. You may have said no in several occasions, but are you saying no to him today? Are you still saying, I don't know you? Are you still going to declare to him that he is not king? When he came back, He handed these keys to these people. And he said, I give you power to trade upon Satan and Scorpio. And anything you declare is acceptable in heaven. What a great king. What a marvelous king. What a great God. Today, you and I, we call him all sorts of names. Some say he is not God. Some of us, we have decided to build a small altar in our house. And we say that is a God we are serving. Some of us have choose to serve trees than serving him. Some of them prefer the other king more than we do. For him, we have rejected him severally, and we say no, not because of anything, but because we don't want all that, the, 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 the things we are enjoying in, with the other king to disappear from us. Some of us even hate him for telling us the truth. This same Jesus that was rejected million years ago, hundreds of years ago, is the same one that is asking you today that will you like to follow this king whose purpose is just to kill, steal, and destroy you? Will you like to follow this king whose purpose is just to cause destruction and destruction upon your life. Or you will leave him and come into the same kingdom that you abandoned. Or you will leave him and come to this beautiful paradise that I'm preparing for you. You know, Jesus was making all these declarations so clearly, but there is no way that it is written by Satan that he has prepared anything for us. It is not written anywhere. I want you to check the Bible. What is written of Satan? I want you to check the scripture. What is written of life after now? Study the book of Revelation and see what will happen at the end of life. We have just limited time to be here. The Bible says we are just passing. There is no time to waste. There is no time to stay in that kingdom and be wasted. He has no positive plan for you. Even if you don't believe, I just want you to realize today that Jesus is our savior that he is our redeemer, that he is our mediator, 
He is the only one that can set you and me free from the hands of the wicked king. I want you to realize that he is the same king that was rejected by many. And yes, today he has become the chief cornerstone. He is the king of glory. He is the only one that can save you from the hands of that wicked king. I cannot save myself. You cannot save yourself. Only Jesus can save. Only him can save you and I. Why not come to him? Why not believe in him? Why not follow someone that is telling you the truth? Has the devil ever whispered any truth in your ears since you know him? Has he ever told you anything positive? All you do is contradicting what Jesus is saying. And that's to tell you that you are on the wrong path. And that's to tell us that we are on that broad path that is leading to destruction. The Bible says, Broad is the way that many have chosen, and this same way is taking them to destruction. And narrow is the path that leads to heaven, and only few are found in this path. Come to Jesus. He is coming soon. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Even when you say no, he still loves you, and he loves you more. No wonder he said that I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus loves you. It's not ending here. I want you to tell someone during this period that Jesus loves you. Tell someone let that love graduate from your heart. Let it graduate all the way from the depth of your heart. Send this message to someone just to make sure that you tell the person that Jesus loves you. And as you do that, I believe our God will bless you. Thank you very much and happy Easter. God bless you.